Hey everyone, Scorpion here. So, I made that video about those coins, and I didn't give y'all any weights or anything. And it just popped in my head that that might be important um, to some of y'all. Um, you may want one that's light, or you may want one that's heavy. It just kind of depends uh, whether you're doing it for, you know, uh, a channel round, a uh, channel memento, um, that kind of thing. And I needed to look up and see exactly kind of where the prices are going to fall for some of this stuff anyway. So I went ahead and pulled it back out. And I'm going to show you all some weights on these to give you some idea, you know, where it's going to be. So y'all stick around. Be right back. <clears throat> all right. So we're going to start off with the aluminum. So that's a 40 millimeter and three by three millimeter i believe thickness um so you're looking at 0 0.2 ounces as i said super light you can hardly even tell it's there now you zinc you've stepped it up a lot um it's not quite as shiny but now you're looking at 0.8 ounces same size same thickness uh 40 millimeter by three millimeter but you're at 0.8 ounces. So huge difference. And you can go to copper. Now you're talking 1.1 ounce. Again, same size, 40 by three at 1.1 ounce. So this is like holding a piece of silver in your, in your hand. And then brass is exactly one ounce. So Depending upon what type of weight you want, if you're going to be shipping them out uh, to people, as you know, these stamps right here are up to an ounce. After an ounce, you got to pay more shipping, so it's going to take two stamps probably, uh, especially if you throw a sticker in there or something. So if you're doing brass or uh, copper, you're going to need two stamps. Uh, if you're going to ship either one of those, by the time you add a piece of paper and you tape that envelope up real good, you're you're definitely a good ways over an ounce. Um, not that I would suggest doing it that way. Uh, I would at least put it in a piece of cardboard because, you know, if somebody feels, oh, it feels like there's a coin in there, well, it may not make it where it's going. Now, with that said, if you're going to do a point eight ounces, you know, zinc or aluminum even at 0.2. That may be the route you want to go if you plan on mailing a lot of them out. Um, if you wanted to order some to post up for sale and they're going to pay the shipping, then you might want to go with the bigger. Or maybe if you're doing like first, second, third, fourth place, like giveaways or something, um, you know, that's an option. I do hope to get silver blanks like this before long. So I can do those too, um, but we'll see how stuff goes. So just wanted to kind of put that out there for y'all and uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I can't break down some type of uh, pricing for these. Just so y'all know. All right, so pricing for these, uh, $25 art fee. That's if you want your logo or you want something done or whatever, get a hold of me, let me know, email it to me, however, there's going to have to be adjustments made to it, and it's probably going to take a couple hours. Um, so it's $25 art fee, but once you've made your logo or whatever, um, the setup is done, maybe I should say, then that's a, that's a one-time fee. That's it. Uh, aluminum rounds, again, 0.2 ounces. They're going to be about $9 a piece. Zinc. 0.8 ounces, they're about $8.50 a piece. Copper, 1.1 ounces is $10 a piece, and brass is one ounce. They're going to be $9.50. Um, it's going to be $15 to etch each one that you want to do. Um, if you want 3D engraving, which we're not ready to do yet, you're looking at $30 to $50 each. It just depends on how long it takes. Um, you start looking at hours and hours uh, to do the 3D engraving on there. So if you just wanted to make something really special as like a, a 2K channel, you know, 
you know, Scorpion 2K reach on 2, 3, 23, something like that, and you wanted a 3D, then, you know, you'd be looking at, that'd probably be pretty good. But other than that, I would just say etch it. And as you go up in your numbers, that will change. Um, if you're ordering like 50 or more or something, this may come down to like 12 or, or 10 or something like that. But we'll see as we uh, do stuff. And there's going to be a shipping charge as well. So I just want to kind of give you all a price. I've reworked the coins and stuff according to ordering and what it's going to cost me and that kind of thing. So um, anyway, just wanted to put that out there for you all to give you all some idea where we are. GoPro stop recording. So going that way is uh, a little bit expensive. Uh, but it does give you the mobility and option of changing stuff anytime you want to. Um, changing your design, uh, putting your name on it, uh, anything you want. Uh, and I'm going to work with people. Um, that's just kind of a base price. Um, so, you know, $25 art fee anytime you've changed something. Then the price of the coin, and if you're getting a few coins, if you're getting more than one or two or more than five, I'm going to cut that price down a little bit. 25 I'll cut it down some more. Uh, 50 I can cut it down a little bit more. Uh, price, you know, each. And and etching, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm shorting myself at 15 to etch it, uh, or if I'll be able to cut that down some. So at a little bit of time, we may be able to go you know, change that a little bit as well. Your other option is going to be get a hold of D-Wing on Instagram. Uh, if you get a hold of D-Wing on Instagram, you can get a 40 millimeter press stamp or maybe a 39 millimeter or 38, something a little bit smaller than a coin. And just like that, my camera quit. All right, where were we? So, anyway, get a hold of D-Wing on Instagram and get you a stamp made. It's a press stamp. You can have it mailed to me, and I'll press stamp them out for you. And instead of it costing you 10, 15 bucks a coin to have it engraved, um, you know, we can do 2 or $3 a coin to press stamp it for you. And it quit again. Um, but yeah, a couple dollars, I'll press stamp them all day long for you, uh, order the coin, stamp them and, uh, send them to you. That would in the long run be the cheapest way if you're planning on doing hundreds of them or something, you know, um, but I mean the press stamps are, they're not, they're not cheap. They're, uh, let's see, let's see, uh, I'd say you'd be looking at probably close to $200. Uh, to get a press stamp with your your logo made or whatever, um, but D Wing is somebody that I work with. Uh, he makes stamps for us at Poor Metal and stuff like that. So um, if you need something done or whatever, you don't know what to ask him, get in touch with me. However, email if you got my number, call me, text me, whatever, and uh, I'll help walk you through the process and we can get that made. And uh, I'll. I'll press stamps, you know, your coins if if you're looking at keeping the same design for a long time. Because <clears throat> uh, I just paid them like $300 because I just ordered a press stamp um, and a small stamp for the company. So, anyway, hope everybody's doing good. And uh, any questions, let me know. See y'all around.